فؤادك الايام فتا وتنحي and also as the poet said كل الحوادث مبداها من النظر ومعظم النار من مستصغر الشرر كم نظرة فتكت في قلب صاحبها فتك السهام بلا قوس ولا وتر every event مبداها its beginning is from what من النظر looking ومعظم النار and the majority of the fire is what من مستصغر الشرر it is the belittled evil a lot of the things that people enter the hellfire is because something they belittled. كم نظرة how many looks فتكت في قلب صاحبها it ripped and it it attacked the heart of a person. فتك السهام بلا قوس ولا وتر like the attack an arrow which is without a a bow will do. But we have to really understand the looking is of types and they are not all of one level. The first type is مَا هُوَ muharramun, That which is haram. A looking which is haram and that is the first type. And that is what the author means here. The author when he was saying وَإِرْسَالُ الطَّرْفِ الْمَرْئِ أَنْكَ فَقَيِّدِي وَطَرْفُ الْفَتَى يَا صَحِ رَائِدُ فَرْجِهِ وَمُتْعِبُهُ فَغْضُضْ مَا اسْتَطَعْتَ Tahtadi, he's talking about ma huwa muharram. He's talking about the look which is haram. Which is looking at a woman or a person who is a foreigner from you. And you don't need to look at her. You don't need and there's no need for you to look at her. The second one is mustahabun, a recommended look. It's actually recommended that you do this looking. And this is وَهُوَ النَّظَرُ إِلَى مْرَأَةٍ يُرِيدُ أَنْ يَتَزَوَّجْهَا وَغَلَبَ عَلَى ظَنِّهِ إِجَابَتُهُ A man looks at a woman in which he wants to get married to. And he has a high assumption that she's going to accept him. Jabir radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, I said to the Prophet, he said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Jabir said, that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِذَا خَطَبَ أَحَدُكُمُ الْمَرْأَةِ If one of you wants to get married to a woman, فَإِنْ اسْتَطَاعَ يَنْظُرَ إِلَى مَا يَدْعُوهُ إِلَى نِكَاحِهَا فَلْيَفْعَلْ If he is able to look at that which will call him to marrying her, then he should do it. فَخَطَبْتُ مَرَأَةً He said, I wanted to get married to a woman. And so this is what I did. فَكُنْتُ أَتَخَبَّأُ لَهَا I was hiding from her. In a place where she could not see me. حَتَّى رَأَيْتُ مِنْهَا Until I saw from her. مَا دَعَانِ إِلَى نِكَحِهَا I saw from her that which called me to marry her. فَتَزَوَّجْتُهَا And so I married her. Abu Dawood narrated this hadith. And Imam Ahmed also narrated in his sunan. Now the scholars, they differed on this issue now here. Which is that the hadith says, looking at the woman, that which will call you to marry her. What does that mean? And what is the limit? Because when you look at the statement of Jabir radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he also said, I looked at her to that which will allow me to say to myself, yes, I do want to marry her. And so what is it that a person can say? I will look at her, that which will call, allow me to marry her. This is where the scholars differed on. Some scholars, they said, إِلَى وَجْهِهَا وَكَفَّيْهَا فَقَطْ It is that the person looks at her, her face and her palms. And that is a riwayah of Imam Ahmed. And another riwayah, also he said, لَهُ النَّظَرْ It is permissible for him to look at إِلَى مَا يَظْهَرُ مِنْهَا غَالِبًا إِلَى مَا يَظْهَرُ مِنْهَا غَالِبًا He is allowed to look at that which becomes apparent from her the majority of the times. What does that mean? It means her face. كالوجه her face. والرقبة her neck. Her neck will show. 
Well, Yadaini her two hands. Well, Kadamaini her two feet. And this is something that when a woman is at home, these are the things that will be seen from her. And it's also permissible for him to look at her more than once. He's allowed to look at her more than once. And he's allowed to observe her beauty and analyze her. With her permission and also without her permission. But he's not allowed to be alone with her. As the Prophet ﷺ told us that a man who is alone with a woman, shaitan is the third. So the place that he's doing it from is a place where he's not with her. But he's seeing her from somewhere outside. So here it tells you that you don't have to take permission from her. al qism al The third type of looking which is and the reason, before I move into the third one, the reason is not to take permission from her, from her is better is because the man will see the woman in her real state and the way that she really is. Now if, is, now if this is the, the time of the Sahabas where there was no surgery like the way it is right now, the cosmetic medical treatments that women go through and the kind of changes they put themselves through or the things that they do to their faces with the makeup that can be very deceitful when the man sees her in that state where she's not aware of it it gives him a good understanding of what woman he's going to marry because after the day of the marriage in the morning when he wakes up this is the person who's going to wake up and see so the Sharia doesn't want him and her to bounce from each other and for him to say to her, I don't want to be married to you anymore. Because when I looked at, when I first saw you, this is how you looked. Naam? So, so they both can stay together. But what also needs to be remembered is that the man, he looks at the woman when what? When there is a غلبت ظن high assumption that this matter is going to go through. And that he's going to. But not that a man says to, he's caught looking at every woman. And then he says, oh, okay, I want to get married. This is not what the hadith is referring to or speaking about. Now, Al-Qism al qism thalith the third type of looking, which is Al-Nadharu Al-Mubahu. Al-Nadharu Al-Mubahu, the permissible looking. Mubah means here, you don't get a reward for it. Nor do you get a sin for it. Mubah was what? What did we say? Yastawi fihi tarafan. The two sides are equal. The reward and the sinning are both equal, meaning none of them take place. And this is the look which is nazratul fajati min al ajnabiyya. When a man suddenly looks at a woman, unintentionally, he did not intend to look at her. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said to Ali ibn Abi Talib, as Imam Abu Dawood narrated in his Sunan, Imam Ahmad narrated in his Musnad, Tirmidhi narrated it in his Jami'. Also, huh? that Ali ibn Abi Talib, the Prophet said to him, and the hadith is the hadith of Burayda, radiyallahu ta'ala, anhu, that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to Ali, لا تتبعوا النظرة النظرة do not follow a look with another look. الأولى, the first one is for you, meaning you are not held a card for it. You see? The last one is not for you, meaning it's against you if you look at it again. Also, what is Nadra? Looking which is Mubah is the man to look at his wife, all her body. To look at the body of his wife. That involves her, her private part. It's mubah for the man to look at her. Some scholars, they said, no, it is not permissible for him to look at her, her private part. Or, sorry, it is disliked for him to look at her private part. 
based on a hadith which he said Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha ma ra'aytu minhu rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ma ra'aytuhu min rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa la ra'ahu minni that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not see it from me and I did not see it from him meaning her private part and his private part they said that this based on this hadith and scholars have weakened this narration also the nadra which is mubah is the nadra which is mubah is a man to look at his slave girl her body but he's not allowed to look at her if his slave is a al mushtaraka a mushtaraka is a slave a slave which her and somebody else own it together The milka, I mean the mulk, sorry, milkuha, the ownership of the slave, baynahu wa bayna ghayrihi, is between him and another person. Also, what is nadar, which is mubah, is the looking which is a need calls for it. A need calls for it. And it's like the doctor. Also is the looking at a child which is small in age. You're allowed to look at them. A child which is small in age. If it's a young girl, you're allowed to look at her. But you're not allowed to look at the private part. Also the woman who... Huh? He is, who is from your maharim, your family members. Even them, you're only allowed to see from them that which is apparent on their day-to-day basis. And from those which we have mentioned is her face, her neck, her two hands, her foot, her hair. You can see her shin, you can even see. And the list goes on. But those are the three types of looking. Another which is haram, and another a looking which is mustahab, and a look which is mubah. So the Shaykh Rahimullah is referring to which one? The looking which is haram. وَيَحْرُمُ بَهْتٌ وَاغْتِيَابٌ نَمِيمَةٌ وَإِفْشَاءُ سِرٍّ ثُمَّ لَعْنُ مُقَيَّدِ وَفُحْشٌ وَمَكْرٌ وَالْبَذَى وَخَدِيعَةٌ وَسُخْرِيَّةٌ وَالْهُزْءُ جَاءَ مُشَدَّدِي The Shaykh said وَيَحْرُمُ It is haram بَهْتٌ بَهْت is haram بَهْت As Jawhari said in his sihah The word is بَهَتَّهُ بَهْتًا وَبُهْتَانًا فَهُوَ بَهَّات is when you say about a person قَالَ عَلَيْهِ مَا لَمْ يفعله. It's when you say about somebody that which they have not did. To say about somebody that which they have not did. This is called what? بُهْتَان البُهْتَان It is that which you say about a person in which they have not said. And it's lying. It is lying and it's not permissible. It's forging a statement against a person and lying about them. And the Messenger sallallahu he told us that lying and the serious